Oh yeah, Michael's got one. Doesn't look very big, but. Yeah, very tiny. Where is he? Down here. Oh, uh, beautiful. Hang on, where is it? Where is it, Michael? Just here, straight down. In amongst these rocks. Oh yeah, there he is. And it looks oh, like. Tucker. Sorry? A little tucker. Is that a yellow belly? A little yellow belly. Let's zoom in a bit. Yeah, Nearly a catch and release. Yeah, definitely at that size. Whoop. Whoop. Down, boy. There he goes. And he's gone. First fish Michael. trying to catch a carp by hand. He's close. But maybe not close enough. Get far from it now. So? They can get out. It's the way, boy. Well done, matey. I'll get him. Just let him go for a bit, mate. That's the way. Good stuff. There we go. One from the canal. One less pest in the well, Not five, five minutes later, Michael's got one. I'd say it's a carp if I can get a look at it. Yeah, lifts its head. Oh. Yeah, go on, run. There. That one. <gasps> it's not. It's not. Oh, beautiful silver. No, no, yellow. yellow belly. Beautiful yellow belly. Watch that one too, Dad, because I think it's, <laughs> this one's on too, I think. Just leave that. Let me just get it out of the way. <laughs> I can't see if I've got, if I'm looking at the fish. Right there, have a look at this, mate. Go, uh, go come on. have a look. Really nice yellow belly. Here's Michael climbing down the bank as fast as he can to get this fish. I'm back in the water too. What? Has he got it? Has he got it? He's got it. What a beautiful yellow belly. Oh, big and fat too, full of row. Yeah. Back this off just okay. There you go. I know if this was hiding. Michael with a, a carp, we think. Let's have a look down in the water, see if we can see it. Come up. Might do another quick run. I've had to back off me drag because he's doing that. Yeah, that's what happened. I don't want to pull the hooks on him. It is. I think it's a carp. Yay! Yeah, what is this? Come on, turn your head back around here. Yes. Oh, a big black one. Whole lot of black on him. Come on. Yep. There he is. Big black one. Um, how are we going to do this? Strong line, is it? It's 20 pound and the leader's 20, uh, 30, but I'm uh, just not too sure. Don't you go back down there. Just don't want the leader to come undone, that's all. This bit here. Get here he comes. I do not recommend doing this usually at all. Where is he? Not only can you lose your lead or not, but you can lose your fish. And you don't, oh. and you don't want to lose a carp. <laughs> uh, good one, Noah. As Noah shows you, trying to hit, kill it with a rock. 
<laughs> Good on you, kiddo. Alrighty. Ooh, the old man's one. first one for the day. Dirty old car. Dirty old car. At least he got one. Where is he? There he is. A little flap down there. Here's a test for you later, not dead. You reckon you can get up the hill? <gasps> I've just hooked and dropped three. And then Dad comes along and gets all tinny on me and does that. Not fun. I think I lost a bell as well, which is not fun. Hold on, mate. Noah's already ready with his stick. Look out. Up the bank she comes. Wait until Dad unhooks it there, Noah, and then you'll be right, mate. Nice little one. Not a huge one, but a good one. Another one out of the water. I'll tip just a little bit. That's it. That's far enough. All right, give him a little bit of a wind now. No, it's half fish. a wind. That's it. Good boy. Just drop your rod tip a little bit. That's it. Just Where is he? pull his head round. There you go. There Look at he that. Is. Good fish, mate. Oh, that's a big car. That's a good fish, mate. Whoa. Well done. All right. I'm to get him. No, no, no. Keep going. You're right. That's good. You just got to wear him out a bit. All right. Just drop your rod to the bit, mate. Just drop it a little bit. That's it. Keep him there. That's it. Good boy. He's ready. Good boy, yeah, he's done. All right, I'm going to have to get down for that one, I think. I don't think I'll be able to pull him in. Yeah, you let, let Michael... No, no. That's it, that's it. Keep your rod tip down. No, uh, wait, 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 wait. He's a big fish. Just Keep wait. Keep rod tip down. That's the boy. Just Good wait. Boy. Just wait. Michael, go down and grab him. Good boy, Noah. Okay. Just leave him there. Just leave him there. That's a big carp, isn't it? Carp? Yeah. Look at the size of him. That's a big one. That's a good size cart, mate. Well done. Hopefully Michael can get hold of him. Yeah. Michael's got hold of him. That's a big fish. Look at that. That's a big car. Good day, guys. I'm on my way home uh, from very eventful weekend uh, with the old band fishing through uh, the channels and a few other spots in Narendra and uh, they've closed the highway at Wagga so I can't go through Wagga so I have to go the back way and uh, see that I have to go the back way means I go back through where the locust plate is going through um, as you can see by my window I don't know how well you can see it but it has bug everywhere and I can't imagine what the front of my car looks like at the moment because uh, I can see them jumping behind me, jumping in front of me as I come past them and they're just there about to go through a patch I don't know if you'll hear that if you go through a patch of them you just hear as they hit the car so yeah so we've we've gone from one extreme to the other we've gone from uh, the complete and other wet where you know, people are getting flooded out of their homes and evacuated. So I hope everyone in Wagga is okay because I saw the news today and they were uh, there's quite a lot of water through there. And then we go into the dryers where the locusts move in. So we're in the dry, <laughs> driest part of the area at the moment. It hasn't really received as much rain, but still has got quite a lot. And most of Narandra, you know, west of that to Griffith and everywhere. Uh, just has this locust plague everywhere. So later on I'm gonna have to get home and clean my car so when I get home I'll clean my car and I'll take a couple of happy snaps and stick them up as well of what this ended up like um, without windscreen fluid then uh, it's gonna be a very interesting ride back. I may have to stop for petrol so I may clean my window when I get there. Catch on the other side.